So the reference for zero dB is basically what they consider the threshold for human hearing, mm -hmm. which is 20 micropascal. And this room is quieter than the threshold of human hearing. Hi, my name is Mary Spender and you are watching Tuesday Talks. And in this episode, I, with a few people you might recognize, <coughs> visit an anechoic chamber. Firstly, what is an anechoic chamber? It's a completely soundproof room designed to absorb any reflections, echoes, and resonances that cause any reverberation. Sure have a few built in their headquarters so that at any time they can test their microphones in a completely isolated and controlled environment. Oh, it's also rumored that if you spend too long in there with the lights off, you will go insane. <laughs> Spoiler. We had to try that out. <laughs> Here we are in the anechoic chamber. It's crazy. It's weird. It's it... really weird. Awkward silences are much more real. Yeah, <laughs> awkward silences are way more awkward in here. No reverb to help those out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like... It's like... You feel the air around your head or something, like there's a pressure. It's like the sensation of being underwater. That's yeah, 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 yeah. When you're like submerged. My voice is right here, <laughs> like... Uh, oh yeah, you get the reflection off your hand. You got that oh, coffee breath. <laughs> I was skeptical about it, and it's going to be impossible to communicate through the camera what it's like to be in here, but yeah. just trust us, it is really odd. I feel anyway like the air is a physical thing yeah. around me, like the, there's some kind of pressure. That's weird, <laughs> hearing that a clap weird? without any reverb. Or it sounds like I'm hearing a clap after it's gone through like a noise gate. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You recorded yeah. a clap with a really heavy noise gate on it. It's weird. Where's yeah. Where's the rest just, of the clap? It's just yeah. Like, <laughs> what happened to it? <laughs> it sounded the same, I mean, obviously to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there a big difference? So there's this phenomenon called the inverse square law where uh, sound, as you get further away, uh, will half in volume when you've doubled the distance that you are. So if I keep talking at hopefully relatively the same level, it'll probably sound something like that through the camera. And you don't get to experience this ever in the real world because you always have something that the sound is bouncing off of and, you know, reinforcing those waves in your ears. But here... It's it's pretty trippy. You just, the volume drops out. Wow. I've been wanting to do this for a really, really long time. Having worked for Shure Microphones, I knew that they had anechoic chambers built in their headquarters in Niles, Illinois. And of all the people I wanted to take in there, of course, it was Rob, Andrew, and Jeff. They are massive nerds, just like me. And it's a pretty rare experience to be able to go into an anechoic chamber, especially with uh, some people who really know what they're talking about. We always hype up the chamber a bunch too. So we'll be like, all right, welcome to the anechoic chamber. Um, we have about, with the door closed, we have about 30 seconds of air. So I'm going to talk really fast. <laughs> and uh, this is where we, <laughs> and you always see people like, wait, is he serious? I should just sit here with my hand on the door as I do it the whole time and just seal people in. <laughs> They'd be like, so we do a lot of testing here, 28, 29. <laughs> And this is where we do a lot of <laughs> So we've been yelling in here, we've been clapping in here, now Mary's gonna play guitar. I probably shouldn't turn my head away at all when I'm yeah. talking yeah. to this yeah. camera. That's true. This little amp sounds pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like it's right here. <laughs> Hearing the guitar through that amp in this room is a very familiar sound, but I it's a very familiar sound that I've only experienced with headphones on tracking guitar and hearing the guitar through my computer in a digital amp. I'm going to leave all the science up to Matt, who is the staff acoustical engineer at Shaw in Niles. We measured the noise yeah. of this room and it is negative five dB A weighted. What does that mean? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've never worked with negative dB. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know, that's what everyone asks. Like, you can have negative dB. Yeah, so uh, it's hard to see. Yeah, what so you can have negative is. because 
with any DB that you need a reference basically to calculate the DB level. So the reference for zero DB is basically what they consider the threshold for human hearing, which is 20 micropascal. And this room is quieter than the threshold of human hearing. So it's actually like five DB below, like what you can even sense. Wow. It's like the quietest thing. And wow. for me, being a drummer, I hear mostly ringing when I come in here. <laughs> good life. The size of the room really determines how low in frequency you can be anechoic to. So we're, with this size, we're down to about 80 hertz. So that's where we test down to 50. Seven layers of drywall. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah. Tip to tip, it's 16.4 feet in one direction, 14 feet, four inches in the other and in height, tip to tip and around 22 by 24. Um, As you can see, we're suspended sort of halfway yeah, in the yeah. middle there. This looks like some torture pit thing. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah, is, it uh, looks like a Mortal Kombat. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, <laughs> the floor is like this yeah, I think that's mesh that we're on with a fine mesh underneath to catch uh, everyone's change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's like the exact same sound spikes <laughs> on the ground beneath us. So let me talk a little bit about the testing. So we have this rail system so we can kind of configure the room for whatever we need to test. This like, our, is our typical mic test setup. So I just grabbed like an SM81 and uh, this is the source speaker. It's a coaxial driver because you want the source to be coincident. Like if you had a two-way where you had a tweeter up here and a woofer down here, now you've got a different path length yeah. between the tweeter and the woofer, and that's gonna mess up your measurement. Same thing as like having reflections. Like basically the problem with reflections is you're getting, now you have delay and path and you're getting comb filtering and stuff. So, so we get it set up and then we can run the test and this little turntable here will let us look at different angles or run polar responses. So like all the, when you look in the, uh, the user guide or like our literature, those frequency responses and polar responses were created in this room. <laughs> Robots are cool. I love that it just moves. Yeah. I don't know why that's yeah. the most impressive thing about this room. <laughs> that, that, that was my next question. Is like, how do you get the exact Wait, angle? Color. And I didn't realize that, of course, this moves. Do you know uh, if there's any truth to any of the stories about if you stay in here for a certain amount of time, you go crazy? Uh, I don't know. Do I seem crazy? Because I've spent a lot of time <laughs> in here. <laughs> I left a microphone running while we were in this weird limbo environment. It was so, so strange. Um, and here are some of the highlights. So alone. <coughs> Shh. <laughs> Did everyone hear my stomach just there? <laughs> I think I thought it was my stomach. <laughs> Anybody gone insane yet? <laughs> Who's it? Whoa. What? Where are you? I'm on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I've been but slowly climbing. Testing, 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 oh, hey. testing. Yeah, you're like getting panned Fine. around. Testing, 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 testing. Yeah, hello. I feel like you're like right in front of my face. Yeah. Closer. <laughs> yeah. Like hearing, oh, if you are in here for an hour, you go insane. So that's clearly total rubbish. But actually being here, I don't think that's true still, but it is far, far more of a different switch, I guess. Am I making any sense? I don't yes. know. Maybe I am going insane. It's, it's really <laughs> oh, oh, man. oh my god, you're so far, much farther away yeah. from me than I <laughs> It is seriously odd to be in here with no lights on and, and not hear anything other than like every, your, you can like feel your heartbeat, you know, a bit more. Yeah. It was almost like a sizzle. And yeah, I wonder I if it was like some like really high frequency hearing damage or something. I heard all my stomach gurgles, every single one. <laughs> so yeah. And like felt them, like uh, yeah. I, it, the position of them inside yeah. my abdomen. The f first little bit was just disorienting and weird, but then after like a minute or so, I was like, I could get used to this. Yeah, yeah. Like, I yeah, could yeah, no, it was this is peaceful. This could be really yeah. nice, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we didn't stay in long enough to be driven insane. We got 10 minutes as opposed to probably hours and hours that it would take and that would just be difficult because this was a working anechoic chamber. It was already lucky that Soren and Matt gave up their time to talk us through exactly what we were experiencing, why we were experiencing it, 
and exactly what goes on in there when they are testing out microphones. You know what the weirdest thing we found in here was uh, oh, yeah. a bullet casing. Huh? What? Yeah. what? <laughs> fairly recently, actually. Yeah. So I was like, I was actually in here and I was like looking for something I drop because obviously, like if you drop something, it's like we put it's down this man. super fine mesh because otherwise it's like lost and yeah, it's in lost, the, the in lost forever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I would like drop something like, oh no. Um, so I was like looking for it and then also I'm like, what is this? And it was like a spent nine millimeter like bullet casing. I was like, <laughs> so seems weird, right? Uh, the only logical explanation is that we allowed the Niles Police Department to use the building for mm -hmm. um, active shooter training. And I think they weren't supposed to be in here, but I think some cop was like, oh, check it out, like Anacote Chamber. I wonder what it sounds like. Blah, blah, looks, blah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like. Massive thank you to Andrew, Rob, and Jeff for accompanying me in this super weird, crazy experience. It was so much fun to hang out with them. Massive thanks to Soren and Matt for sharing their expertise and letting us in there and letting us film, of course. And having worked for Shaw in the past, I know what an outstanding company they really are. And there's a reason they've been around for 93 years. They really, really do take care with every single product. And yeah, I will always, always love that brand and everything I use microphone wise is by Shaw. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below with your favorite moments, maybe ring that bell just in case you want to see any of my videos again and otherwise I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.